Hello everyone, welcome back to Mini Toy Adventures. My name is Dom and today we have the third and final doll out of the World Travel Series. Yes, I picked up Sunset. A lot of you hit the thumbs up button on my last World Travel video. And if you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link down in the description for you. You wanted to see this one because at the time it was not available, as many of you know. They just lifted the street date. So it's no longer street dated for December 1st. If your target has it, you can go get it now. So definitely keep that in mind. But we are going to get into this girl right here and I'm just really looking forward to opening this one. As you can see, the box is very similar to all of the other uh, world travel boxes. We have like a stamp theme, different signs all over the side, 15 surprises. And on the back here, uh, we have the same read up, which you can pause the video if you'd like to read that for yourself. It's in a lot of other languages as well. Um, but yeah, these are the three travel girls. We have a city babe, fly girl, and sunset. And don't worry, I will um, put all three of them on the table here so you can just see them all side by side after we get through this girl right here. So without any further delay, let me go ahead and open the box show you what's inside and see what she is all about. All right, so first, as we open the flap here, you can see we have a very nice layout where we can see the doll. Everything is kind of put together very nicely. Obviously, there's no window here. Um, I guess you could display it, as I mentioned in my last video, like this with the box open so you can kind of see everything. But right here, we have a very nice little layout and we have a little pull tab here that we can pull and you can see these palm trees kind of come out over the edges. It's really cool packaging. I actually really dig it. And as you can see here, there is nothing left to this box so we do not need it anymore. And we have our doll here. We can pull out the plastic insert and you can see this nice little background that it comes with. We have these uh, little paper lamps here, some palm trees, the sun is setting hence the name Sunset. But let me go ahead and get all these little plastic ties off. There's always so many things to clip and undo to get this out of the box and we will take a look at Sunset a little closer. All right, so we got everything out of the packaging here. Sunset is in the middle. We're gonna put her off to the side so we can check out some of the accessories. Y'all know the drill. Uh, the first thing that we do have here uh, is like what comes with all of the other girls. We have a little passport, a uh, little passport booklet that kind of gives you a better story on sunset here it says it's the tropical vibes for me shades on music up chill out and party on so you can see her right there and it's just a cute little paper passport these are just like those books that usually come with uh the other omg dolls uh nothing special happened in there but we do have a couple of other surprise bags here as well so let's open up our first surprise bag and see what is inside oh we have some shades i guess that passport was probably a clue for, for the shades. It looks like that's the only thing that's in the bag are her shades. Um, but let's look at the shades real quick. Look at them. They're super cute. Super cute shades. I really think they're well done. And they have like gold studs all around them with pink lenses. Really cool. Uh, the next thing that we do have here is a little garment bag. And I'm guessing this has the last piece to her wardrobe in it, as many of you probably suspected. Ooh, I think I'm gonna like this. Look at this. This is just, wow, this is super cute. Okay, um, I really do dig this. I'm excited to get this on her. Look at all these flowers. It's got like a metallic look to it on all the flowers and we have the little strings hanging off the sleeves and at the bottom. Anyway, we're gonna put that off to the side and put it on her in a little bit. Um, I love these little garment bags. I don't know why, I saved them. Just, I'm weird, okay, leave me alone. Uh, we do also have your typical OMG stand right here. Uh, we have a waist clip at the bottom, which comes with two additional waist clips and we have the little pole that will keep her standing up. Not, you know, nothing special there. And we have a pink, comb here as well pink comb now my favorite thing in this whole entire box is this little travel suitcase um and if you see my other video uh, we have a little retractable handle right here which you can push down into the suitcase and pull up there are little plastic wheels on the bottom, but they don't actually function for anything. So you don't get any functionality out of that. But I do love this like, um, this like gradient here from orange to green. And we have gold accents with like black trim around the side. It just looked really freaking nice. Now inside of here, as you probably guessed, we have a surprise. So let's go ahead and open this up. 
see what's inside of the suitcase. We have a tiny little package. We have two tiny little packages. Wow, I think the other ones only had one tiny little package. So that's cool. Inside of the suitcase, nothing special here. Uh, we have this like uh, protruding part, uh, which is just the cavity that the handle kind of recesses into. So nothing special under there or anything like that. But I really dig the look of this suitcase. It's definitely my favorite suitcase out of the line. Okay, so our little surprise packages here. Let's go ahead and open those up. I'm guessing these might be earrings. What are they? Oh, wait, these are little beads for her hair. Okay, I think they are. Let's see, they're, they're, little, they're, little, they're little hair pieces. I, I'm not sure of the proper term for that, so forgive me, but they do look really cool. Let's go ahead and put those down. Well, that, there's five of them. I hope there's only five of them. Let's see, is there anywhere on the box? Okay, it shows us on the box kind of where some of these might go. Like we have one right there and one right there. So you can kind of put them wherever you want on her hair. I'm definitely gonna have to do that so I don't uh, lose them. But let's go ahead and uh, move these tiny, I'm gonna put these tiny little things inside of the suitcase because if not, they're gonna roll off this table and I will never see them again. Uh, let's check out. I thought that I liked the flock neck pillow a lot. Look at this one. It's like jelly. This is my favorite one out of all of them. Oh my goodness. It's got like a floral pattern on it with cat ears and it's like a jelly looking one. Oh, it just looks so cool. It feels just as cool as it looks too, by the way. I like this. So it doesn't look like she has any earrings, I guess. I guess she doesn't. Does she not come with earrings? Oh, she does come with earrings. As I was like scrounging, scrounging through the rest of the package there uh, with my hands, we have a bracelet and we have two peace sign hoop earrings. So those are cool. Anyway, that about wraps it up for all of our surprises. Let me go ahead and get her in her final fit here and we will take a look at the entire doll. All right, so here we have Sunset in her final fit and everything just looks so great. So let's start out at the top here. Um, I really dig these shades on her. I'll take them off so you can see uh, her face, but they look really cool on her. Uh, so starting out with the face here, let's go ahead and remove the glasses here. I love the sunset themed eyeshadow here. We have a gradient from like uh, yellow all the way to like a orangish red on the other side and it just looks really nice It's really fitting her lip color is very great as well And these edges are just perfect and beautiful her hair is actually in pretty good shape in my opinion And I did throw on uh, a couple of these beads on each side so you can see how they look There's one over there and there's one over here on this side And then yeah, we have this uh, kind of like bun up at the top here from the hair, which you can probably undo if you'd like. I'm gonna leave mine up because I do like the look there. Uh, we do have these peace sign earrings, as I pointed out, so I have those in her ear and just everything. I mean, I think she has a really good screen on her, honestly. I don't think that there's anything wrong with her face or anything like that. So moving down here, uh, you saw her original outfit here. Uh, we do have this like um, kind of like tied top up here with a little like, like blue and teal uh, bikini top underneath it. And we do have like a real tie up here. So it's tied right in the middle in the front, keeping it closed. And then she has a very beautiful matching dress with a floral pattern on it that matches the top up here as well. Now her uh, nails here are painted like the same color blue as you see on her top that's underneath the, the yellow one right there. So it's got a really good match to it. And then of course we have this robe that's on her, which is just absolutely beautiful. Like it really fits very, very well with the whole scheme here. It does come with a ribbon um, that you can tie. I'm probably gonna leave mine open. Uh, the ribbon does come out. If you'd like to take it out, it's just being held on by two little loops on the back. So you can like easily just pull it out of there and it won't be an issue. Uh, so I, I think that's pretty nice that, yeah, I, I like the look with it 
like kind of open like that. To me, that just looks cooler. Um, now down to the legs here, we have her uh, leggings, which are like these uh, fishnet leggings that have like a glittery gold shimmer to them. They kind of look white on camera, but they have like this like glittery gold like top layer to them, which just really looks good. It's really hard to pick up on camera though. And then of course, her boots are super amazing as well uh, with like the same kind of matching uh, strings that we have hanging down here like on her jacket and they're laced all the way up the front with little heels on the back and then you can see the back of the leggings have a seam right up the center of the back of her leg, which I just think is cool. Now we have four of these braids that have the gold woven into them as well. So uh, it does come with five little beads. I suppose you could put one on, on each of the ones that have the gold weaving and then you have an extra one to do what you would like with. Um, but I think that she looks very awesome. She's probably my favorite one out of the three. And I just, I, I can't get enough of her. The braids are super awesome feeling. I just, I love them so much. And I think that she looks great. As far as articulation goes, really there's nothing new here. I mean, we have the standard uh, ball joint in the head. You got the standard arm movement with, uh, with the elbow and the wrist joints up and down. And then we have two clicks in her knees and we have no ankle pivot or anything like that. But pretty standard stuff as you would expect from an OMG doll. I just think she looks absolutely stunning. And then of course, my favorite little neck pillow, this uh, jelly neck pillow, which I'm just gonna put on the front of her neck right there. Uh, you could put it on the front and then rotate it on the back if you wanted to, but then you can't see the cute little cat ears hanging off. I don't know. I love this. I love, love, love this little neck pillow. I just think it looks really freaking awesome. I don't know. It, it looks just as cool as it feels. So. Now that we've kind of checked out the doll uh, all together, I'm just gonna show you what all three of them look like side by side. So I'll move all of these aside, and then we have Fly Girl next to her, and we have City Babe. Um, there is all three of the Travel Girls, and I absolutely love this series. I definitely think that my favorite is probably gonna be Sunset because I really do just like the whole get up, but City Babe is definitely a uh, a close second there with uh, Fly Girl coming in last, at least for me personally. I know a lot of people love the Britney look on this one, and I'm not discounting you, don't worry. But for me, I just, I've been waiting for this one for a while, and I'm so glad to finally have her. I just think she looks amazing, but I don't know. Let me know which of these three are your favorite uh, down in the comments section below. I'd really love to know your opinions and thoughts on the matter. I think they're all beautiful. I love this little suitcase. I love this little neck pillow. Maybe I'm biased because the suitcase and the neck pillow, but I think that sunset just looks, the, the colors are just so on point. So let me know your favorites down in the uh, comments section below. And if you've never been to my channel before, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the near future. <sighs> I'm so glad to finally have this. And all of you run out to Target now and find her because she is available and she is waiting for you, especially if you've been one of the ones that were holding out for her because she wasn't available when the other two were. She had to be fashionably late, which is totally understandable. Uh, leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Drop your comments down below. Follow me on Instagram if you're not already. And I just, I thank you so much for all of the support. Thanks for just hanging out with me for a tiny little nugget of time while I share our love of toys and dolls with all of you out there. It means the world to me. So thank you so much for watching. Once again, uh, this has been Mini Toy Adventures. My name is Dom and I'll catch you later. Bye.